Is the Bone Thugs album New Waves worth picking up? We're going to talk about that in a minute. Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a review on the new Bone Thugs album, New Waves. This is not a complete Bone Thugs and Harmony album. This is just a duet album with Bone Thugs and Harmony members, Crazy Bone and Busy Bone. This album dropped June 23rd, I believe. I gotta tell you right now, it's one of my favorite CDs. Uh, it's getting constant rotation. Overall, it is a solid CD from start to finish. I have no real complaints with this album. I will say right off the top, the first thing that you may be expecting if you're a fan of Bone Thugs and Harmony, especially Bone Thugs and Harmony pre 2000s, the sound, the flow is there, but the content is not, you're not going to get your typical thug music, if you will, from this album, but what you are going to get is some good, updated, refreshed flows and lyrics. Overall, it's it has, somebody pointed out to me, it has a very poppy feel but but that's all right it's it's really a feel-good album we talk about the title here new waves to me the first time i heard fantasy it has almost like an 80s new waves pop type of feel to it throughout the whole album and that's what i think uh, makes it such a great album overall because it's a fun album you can put it in you can listen to it and you can just you know jam out to it front to back so real quick we'll get into it kind of track by track here the first track on the album is Coming Home. Now this song was originally released back early 2016, maybe 2015, shortly after kind of a tribute to the Cleveland Cavaliers after they won the NBA championship. They kind of released this song and it had a completely different beat. It featured Lazy Bone as well on the track. For this album, they remastered it, remixed it. The verses are still the same, both Crazy and Busy's. They added uh, Stephen Marley to sing the chorus, and it's it's just a great start to the album. It's that coming home, they've been in the game well over 20 years. They're trying not to lose sight on their roots and where they come from, which is Cleveland, Ohio. The second tra track, If Heaven Had a Cell Phone, in keeping with the tradition of and the success of songs like The Crossroads. It's kind of a, a reflection track, you know, wondering if, if heaven had a cell phone, you know, crazy, he opens up saying, you know, call up God and say, you know, forgive us for the, the madness that's going on here. It's, things are getting out of control. Busy, you know, kind of echoes that sentiment while also making mention to Eazy -E in the song. You know, if they could just talk to him one last time, have that one last conversation with their friends and family who've went on ahead of them, you know, just to touch base and see how everything's going. So that's an, another great song. Good Person. Again, this is featuring an artist, Joelle James. I'm really not sure who she is, but it's a song, and a lot of us feel this way. I know I feel this way sometimes. Trying to judge myself, like, you could say you're a good person, but does that make you truly a good person? Is it just your actions, or, or is it more than your actions? And they're just, you know, seeking truth. Like, you know, am I a good person? Pretty much simple. Fantasy, this is one of my favorite songs. It is very, very poppy, so don't expect anything less. But it's kind of a party song. It's kind of, to me, something growing up near the Jersey Shore and going to the Wildwood Boardwalk every year. You would hear like these kind of songs just playing, echoing nonstop. It has a summer vibe to it. Uh, you would hear it coming from all the, the stores. So that's definitely a, a good song. Just uh, trying to, you know, hit on some girls or whatnot. It's a good song. That girl kind of is a reflection of their better halves and significant others. But Crazy, I believe, he just got married recently. And I think it echoes that sentiment to, you know... Today, Junior! That age-old uh, saying, for every good man, there's a, a strong woman behind him. You know, wouldn't be anything without the support of our women, of course. Let It All Out. This is featuring Jazzy Faye. I think the song's great. The one, my one problem with this is Busy's not on the song. It's just crazy and jazzy Faye. But pretty much it's kind of, again, another song you can kind of relate to if you've ever had that mood where you don't want to be bothered by anybody. You just want to, you know, go away by yourself and just, you know, let it all out. Just take a breather, refresh, and reset yourself. So let it all out. Good track. Just missing Busy. I don't know why. Waves. This is what you could say. Your OG Bone Thugs and Harmony song because it features all the members of Bone Thugs and Harmony, and it's kind of a smoking song if you're 
into that sort of thing. Uh, just talking about how, you know, they're on these new waves and they're just trying to feel a vibe. It's a new time frame, obviously, in hip hop music and they're still trying to very underrated nowadays some people haven't even heard of bone thugs and harmony now they're true pioneers in the hip-hop game and they come from that golden era which they mentioned later on in a different song they're still riding it and they're still getting paid and they're still making their living and they're just really feeling it you could tell very cohesive overall overall the flows between the members it's a great track it was good to hear all five of them together whatever goes up this is another great song speaking once again to the the fact that they've been in this industry for 20 plus years, I mean their third album, their second full length album, Art of War, will be celebrating 20 years uh, later on this month. It's kind of reflecting that, you know, whatever goes up at one point, they were top of the game. They were a household name in the hip hop households, if you will. They were known for Crossroads, they were known for songs like that. And here we are 20 years later. They're still grinding it out, torn, just to not make ends meet by any stretch of imagination. I don't think they're hurting financially, but they're not with all the, and this is my opinion, garbage that's out there now, that mumble rap and all that nonsense. It's true innovators, innovators in the game. You know, they're, they're forgot about nowadays and it speaks to that, you know, don't let yourself get too high on your horse because there is going to be a time where you fall. Not necessarily that they fall, but uh, crazy. In his last line, his one ver on his verse here, he says, you know, he knew rappers who were active and they're gone now. And, and it's true. There's so many rappers that I've listened to, you know, coming up in the 90s that you don't hear anything from them. And if, if you do, it's, it's a blurb and you have to search far and low for it. The next track, Cocaine Love, probably not my favorite song on here. It's a, a good track, and I'm still trying to figure out if it has a dual meaning. Uh, clearly, they're talking about cocaine, the drug itself, but I'm trying to figure out if it, it, they're also referring to some women who may be out, you know, gold diggers, um, trying to seduce you. They get into your bloodstream, and then you're willing to do whatever for them. That's why it was kind of a surprise. You never heard them once rap about cocaine. Maybe they have done it. I'm, you know, I, you don't know what goes on in their personal lives or out in the road. But I didn't really think it fit. Now, it does feature Bun B of UGK, Underground Kings, I'm sorry. And, you know, his verse on here is good he, as well. But it, it's to me, it sounds like he's talking about cocaine. Um, so that's probably... I listen to it, I don't skip it really, but probably one of my least favorite ones. And then what makes me think that Cocaine Love might have the dual meaning of a female behind it is the following track, Bad Dreams, is starts off, you know, the same sentiment. Waking up next to a girl that it was a one night stand, it was a mistake, and now they're gonna try and pretty much gold dig and think they're entitled to something you have and that the only reason that they showed any interest was because of the status and the fame and the money. It's a good song overall. Uh, Gravity with Yellow Wolf. Again, it talks about that whole situation of the fluctuation in the industry and, you know, being trying to be held down. Uh, and a lot of songs, Crazy raps this way, like haters trying to pull them down, pull you back. And that is the nature of the beast and the nature of the game. There's always going to be haters and there's always going to be those who oppose and object to what you're doing and trying to do and trying to hold you back and prevent you from doing that. But you got to push forward and move forward. So Gravity with Yellow Wolf, another great track. Uh, Bottle Service, this is a kind of a party song. Again, another drinking song. Just talk about going out, having a good time. And a party song, like I said, very chill vibe. Very, to me, 80s reminiscent. Change the Story, they just released a video for this song as well. They have videos for Coming Home and If Heaven Has a Cell Phone. They just released this uh, song for, or video for Change the Story. This is another song kind of playing off the popularity of songs like The Crossroads and even If Heaven Had a Cell Phone, where they're talking about those who've uh, passed on before them, that, you know, they were there and now they're gone and they wish they could rewrite the story and change the outcome but unfortunately we do not have that power but if they could they would just to, to rewrite it and 
maybe have those who they lost whatever the situation or the reason may be rethink their actions and rethink their thoughts so that in this present day they could be still riding along with them. Ruthless. This features Lazy Bone and Flesh and Bone, the final track before the bonus track on the album. Uh, it's pretty much a, a tribute song to Eazy E and letting them know that without him, without the time frame which they came into the game, there would be no Bone Thugs and Harmony, period. They may have had their ups and downs with their former boss, Tamika Wright, which was Eazy's uh, wife, but they've kind of put that all aside. They're always and will forever be eternally grateful for Eazy e and for what he did. And they just show that, reflect that here, saying they'll be ruthless till the day they die. No matter what label they're on, they're gonna ride for E. And they got his back when naysayers and doubt talkers and trash talkers may be popping off about them. They'll be there to defend the name of Eazy e And the final track on the album, Don't Let Go, this is the CD bonus track there were I believe a couple other bonus tracks uh, specific to digital and the physical release. Don't Let Go, it's, it's another feel-good party type track. Pretty much talking about, you know, closing out the sentiment that was echoed throughout here in terms of people are going to hate, but keep doing you. You only got one life. You know, do, do you. Have fun with it. You know, within means, of course. Um, but, and don't let it go. Don't let it slip. Don't get dragged down by the haters and the naysayers. Just keep doing you and push on forward and enjoy it. So I think it was a good close to the album. And it was a good close to this album. That's yeah. So that has been the review for Bone Thugs New Waves. My final thoughts on it. Like I said, I've been pretty much every day, at least some of the tracks I'm listening to, uh, I'm really feeling it. It has a summer vibe, and that's the you know the month we're in for me. It's really just good to put the windows down in the car and just just knock to it. Um, not much I can say negative about it. Uh, the only really two things that I could speak on are the three things, a few things. Um, one, the track where Busy's not on it. Whatever. That happens, I guess. I, I don't know how I missed it being on one of the tracks on their duet album. And a lot of extra features. I don't mind the Bone Thugs and Harmony features and, you know, these other ones. But if you're going to have the features in there, um, make the songs a little bit longer. I, I feel it's very short. I don't even think the album comes in. It's. I think it falls under 50 minutes uh, total playtime. I think it could have been longer. I think they, you know, could have did more... Crazy busy, crazy busy. But I'm not going to complain because I'm happy to get this. I had mentioned in my unboxing video that this is a an album and a collaboration, a duets project that many of the Bone Thugs fans have been waiting for for many years. And we got it. So I'm not going to complain. I enjoy it. If you're looking for that old school Bone sound, you're not going to find it here. Like I said, the flow is still on point. The style, completely different here. And they were going for that. That's new waves. They're trying to make new waves. Ripple, you ripple out, ripple, make new effects, whatever the case may be. Pretty, pretty clever if you ask me. So that's my review of New Waves, the Bone Thugs album. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you've listened to this, what some of your favorite tracks are. And also let me know, this is really one of my first reviews, CD reviews. Uh, let me know how it was. What I can do to improve on them in the future, maybe make it shorter, maybe not go track by track, just give an overall summary so you can jump right into the album. I don't know, but let me know in the comments below, all that good stuff. But most importantly, let's have a discussion about this album and what you, your thoughts are on it. And stay tuned. I do have uh, another review coming soon of the Young Wicked album, The Return of the Prodigal Son. And also I'm going to do Around the Day, like I mentioned earlier in this video, the Art of War turns 20, I believe July 27th, so I'm going to try and do a, a retrospective review of that album and hopefully get it released on the day that the album was released, so you can look forward to that as well. But thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate your support. If you haven't done so already, it would mean a lot to me. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new here, welcome. If you've enjoyed this video, 
please subscribe. I have many other types of videos. I do a daily vlog. I'm going to be doing more CDs and movie reviews upcoming. I do unboxings. I do all kinds of stuff. I have so many ideas and plans for this channel, so you'll want to stick around for that. I'm only going up from here. We're going to beat that gravity. The haters can't bring me down. So that's going to do it. Thank you for tuning in. I want you all have a great day. Take care. God bless. Stay smooth. And we will see you on the next review.